a transmedia legend living on the Lower East Side. Hi, Stevie. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you could come down and see some of the designs that I've done for the Mix Festival t-shirt. Tell us about the Mix Festival. What's it all about? Well, Mix 23 is a New York queer experimental film festival, and I'm really so honored to have been asked to design their t-shirt. They present the latest in queer experimental film, as well as unseen works from legendary figures in avant-garde cinema. They also give the best parties. They have workshops for queer youth, and they're very involved in AIDS activism and queer identity and everything good. So, Phoebe, tell us how you got involved. Well, Sir Rodney Sir and Ethan Shoshan contacted me and asked me if I would design the T-shirt. This year, they chose two women to design the shirts, Carolee Schneemann and me. So it was a bold and enlightened choice of two female artists. And we all know that the film art world is deeply gendered. So this was a very important switch, and we applaud them. Uh, now, Ethan Shoshan is a dewy-faced <laughs> esthete who kind of exhales and energy. He, his smile is full of light. He lives with two of the finest art spirits I know, curator Sir Rodney Sir and Jeffrey who is a founding member of Fluxus. So Ethan and Sir Rodney Sir uh, asked you to create a design. I, I guess they were familiar with your art. Uh, most people think of you as a musician, but could you tell us a little bit about, uh, show us how it all began? I thought you might enjoy watching me think, I think, with my pencil and my paintbrush. My paintbrush is kind of an extension of my perception. And so it's uh, very easy to trace my ideas, their genesis, and how they transform. As we all know, queerness and transformation go hand in hand. So true. Oh, God, you are so fierce. So I wanted to sh share my creative process. When uh, Ethan first approached me, I, of course, began from my core queerness. I wanted also to queer the spectator implicitly, even as I celebrated, as I always do, the female form. So I began by sketching my international friend, A.K. I knew that I would have to actually change her face if I were to be believed, <laughs> because prettiness is the great enemy of art. Uh, you will always have to have an element of ugliness to give your art teeth. So as I sketched AK, I changed her from a, a blonde-haired, blue-eyed, perfect beauty to a fiery redhead, uh, kind of obscene woman with a very butch sneer, and she... Uh, was transformed into the kind of cunning, brutally sensual, relentlessly visual filmmaker that probably is going to make pretty good films. In other words, the face of the classic lesbian auteur. 
<laughs> You're fabulous. Ethan told me that I had to limit myself to a palette of three colors. So I chose red and green and orange. Her mouth was a gash. Uh, and in fact, she's holding my Canon XL1, uh, which is my own camera. And the, the microphone, the external microphone, suddenly became a depraved phallus. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Oh. oh. Yeah, under my, as I was drawing it, it wanted to become a dildo, invasive, active, and penetrating. And reflected in the lens here, you see uh, two abstract lesbians fingering each other. And there they are. Oh, I love her. I love her hair. Uh, Ethan told me that I could put an image on the back of the T-shirt, too. So I thought, what better than an homage to ass-licking? And here you see, in profile, exploring the back door of my friend's jeans, uh, my own face, uh, as the camera itself ejaculates into eyeballs and music notes and sperm. Genius. You are a genius. Phoebe, tell us about this, this image. Well, six months passed. I didn't hear from Ethan, and I thought maybe he had forgotten me. So I called him and said, do you still want me to design the t-shirt? And he said, yes, of course. I'm sorry I haven't been in touch. And uh, what are you doing now? I'd love to come and see it. So I was up in Southboro, Massachusetts, where my family lives, I was stopped at a stoplight and I suddenly got another idea for the t-shirt. It appeared to me in a, in a flash, like so many of my ideas do. And uh, I must tell you that during this six month period, I was, embark I, I was doing two new series of paintings. One was a series of gay marriage portraits. And, uh, and I also did a, a series called Slaves, different kind of slaves, different ways that we, ha uh, that different races and ethnic groups enslave other races and eth ethnic groups through history. And we all take our turns being slaves, if you look at history. And so I became quite fascinated with this. In fact, I did a large painting called White Folks, which depicts George Washington and his slave mistress, Venus, with whom... And so when I set about to do this next image, which I call the convulsive image, uh, I, I began with my pencil, as always, and I began to draw uh, two young girls, one with her head thrown back. When I reached the studio, I, I picked up my pencil. I recorded what I had seen in my mind. The camera... Uh, uh, once again, is has a, a an external dick, a cock exploding with music notes and eyeballs that has been retained from the original idea. Uh, and, but now the camera has a child's face, which bores down on the body of the woman. This theme of the gaze. The feminist film critics have pointed to the quote unquote male gaze. Uh, that predominates in Hollywood films. This t-shirt image is called Scoprophilia. And I feel very lucky to have met you. My dear, the pleasure was all mine. That was transmedia artist Phoebe Legere talking about her design for the Mix Festival 2010 which opens November 9th at the Theatre for the New City, right on 10th Street and 1st Avenue. My name is Stevie Goldman. I'm the art and film editor for Gaydio. Gaydio, your source for gay news, gay people, gay parties, and gay ideas. We love you. Let's dance together so the world can see We're special, we're gay God made us this way We're young and gay